precise definition of a boson depends upon spin. And then that includes things which we think of as particles, things like mesons, even atoms, those atoms with an even number of protons and neutrons. In this description now, I'm going to concentrate upon elementary bosons. These are exchange particles, or sometimes called gauge bosons. One way to think of this is that fermions make up the particles of everything around us, of the whole universe. Whereas gauge bosons are the glue that stick them together. In what is called the standard model, there are four fundamental forces of nature. The first two, electromagnetism and gravity, are obvious to us on a macro scale. The other two, the strong force and the weak force, are only really evident on a micro scale between fundamental particles and constituents of an atom. When the forces act between elementary particles or fundamental particles, they're caused by an exchange of other particles which we call bosons. The particle exchange for electromagnetism is a photon. For example, this might occur when one electron meets another electron. There is a force of repulsion between them, and that is expressed by exchanging a photon. The nature of the electrons doesn't change, but their momentum does. The photon is sometimes referred to as a virtual photon, a rather loosely defined term, but generally means something that cannot be detected directly. This sketch is of a Feynman diagram, where time progresses vertically and space horizontally, but without any scale. The theoretical exchange particle for gravity is a graviton. Theoretical because its existence is proposed, but has not actually been confirmed in practice. The strong force is conveyed by gluons, of which there are eight types identified. A gluon can only be emitted by a quark. It is the exchange of gluons that holds quarks together to create neutrons and protons. The weak force by three possible bosons, W+, plus, W-, minus, and the Z boson. The weak interaction is often involved in radioactive decay. For example, a proton in a nucleus may capture one of the inner electrons. With the exchange of a W- boson, the proton becomes a neutron. For particle balance, a neutrino is also produced. There are notes and further videos on the website. The link is here. Thank you for watching.